Happy Friday, happy Friday. Hey. We finna sip some tea. Yeah, we gotta sip a little tea. We gotta sip a little turd turd. Uh, caught uh, Blackwood News a little earlier, maybe an hour or so ago. He was on that check on your people. He was live. Highlands and something. I don't remember. We gonna check it out. Yeah, it was a, a shooting at a corner store that left somebody dead. Once we leave there, we're going to see what else is going off in the streets. I'm going to look for the surveillance tape that I have. We finna sip for real, like we ain't TV. Oh, absolutely. We sipping tonight. It's, it's, it's the weekend, baby. Ah, what? Yes. I want to see if it was this uh, same um, storefront. Something about it looks familiar. So, yeah, we finna, we, we finna go undercover. We going in the trenches. Ah. Late in the midnight hour. Late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn around. It's gonna work in your favor for the Dolph case. <laughs> huh? Yes, indeed. Hold on. Auntie Phil, you watching your videos? Yeah, I gotta find what I'm looking for. Huh? I got to go in my own archives. Absolutely. I don't trust nobody else. No, Not for what I'm looking for. Now, I'll go through my own. Because it's a lot. I heard there's a lot of propaganda. Child, these people. When will they learn? Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. We're sipping tea with Auntie B. We're sipping tea tonight. We're sipping tea with Auntie B. We're sipping tea tonight. Look like this may be some lavender tea. Sipping tea. What's in your cup? Sipping tea. Oh, he was in your car. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's go. Let's go. And thank you for the cash apps. I really, really appreciate it. I was supposed to give us. Dang it, I forgot. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, thank you for the the new sub, uh, subscriber that joined the membership. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you. Let's go. And we live. Every day. And we live. Oh, we on Highland right now. Come on, man. We on Highland. We back at the hood store. Man, there's been so many homicides at this store this year. Man, I've been up here about a good two, three times. No cap, y'all. I remember last time they tried to rob. It was a homicide, and that's another one. We on Highland, man. Hurry, right, don't stop.
Man, it don't stop. We're right outside the daycare. It's crazy. You say check on your people. Detectors, everybody out here. Mm. Karen. Man, all the weekend is here. Oh, yeah. Savage Saturday is tomorrow. We already know how that's going to go. Everybody got to make a U-turn. Turn around. We on Highland, man. Active scene right now. We on Highland, damn that, in Park. We at the hood store right here. Where's the homicide, y'all? Check on your people. Man, everybody got a bus of you. We back at the hood store, man. We're right here on Highland and Park, damn near. The oh, Bolero the right there. Oh, man. Yeah. Check on your people, y'all. Only on Black Canute. They got everywhere blocked. Hey, that's the mic store? Okay, y'all know where this at. Yeah, we at the mic store, man. We at the mic store, y'all. Damn. The detectives coming in and out. Where's the homicide right here, man? They say there's a body up there too, man. Only on them. We damn near on Highland and Park. Oh, man. I done been here about two, three times already. This is one hot hood store, Mike. It is. Man, the people, man. Where's the body out here? They got it covered up and locked off now, though. Pulling up, he walking up towards me. Uh -huh. Everything good, everything good. Shot and killed. It's a homicide. His body's still up here, guys. It is, man. Uh, it's a man and child. I'm not sure. It's another one. Hey, that's what I said. This is one hot store. I was up here, man, a few weeks ago. They had a, um, they had a, they tried to rob a guy. Yeah, it was too far, so yeah. Ah, man. War zone. I manned and I gun. This hopefully this they finna sprint tell us that the mar uh, that the National Guard is here because they already in town. I don't know why they don't want folk to know. Why they not telling the people? Yeah, I numbered, I gunned, I all of that on the street and we are called to protect citizens we can't be un you know outmanned and outgunned you heard her and it can't be emphasized enough outmanned and outgunned of course it is part of the reason why interim memphis police chief cj davis says the department is re-evaluating weapons and training for officers 
as they encounter more and more modified weapons on our streets. Let's go to Fox 13 investigative reporter Kayla Solomon. She's live from the Tillman station. The reality is we see these officers patrolling our streets in their vehicles, and they're making traffic stops. They're even serving warrants if they work for the sheriff's office. But the real question that we have is, what type of equipment do they currently have, and how much do they really have to reevaluate their weaponry as well as that equipment? We are looking at increasing um, the, the caliber of types of weapons that our officers have access to, and have, and it's unfortunate that we have to do that. But this is um, what we're facing. Glock switches, gun modifications. Mm. Police say they're becoming more common on the streets of Memphis. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office says it's also a problem deputies are experiencing. I've been doing this for 22 years and I've never uh, come up against the type of weaponry in which we see today uh, on our streets and our community. And it's concerning. Chief Deputy Anthony Buckner says the Sheriff's Office is also reevaluating weapons and training while also equipping more deputies. So right now we have nearly 100 rifles, semi-automatic rifles uh, deployed throughout uh, Chevron County, throughout our various divisions in the Sheriff's Office. And we're looking to add uh, more than 300 more uh, to, the, uh, to the deputies out in the field. According to the Memphis Police Handbook, each officer has a service weapon, but the department has a patrol rifle program that Ooh, includes fine. training and providing officers in uniform patrol and special operations with added weapons. This is what their Ooh. rifle looks like a Bushmaster AR-15 with a specific sight on it, but not every officer has one. These are also not weapons intended to be worn on their hip. Buckner says the same applies with the Sheriff's Office. We want to make sure that our deputies feel confident and comfortable walking into any situation. Now, Chief Deputy Buckner also wants to emphasize the fact that there needs to be better firearm programs and protection as far as how you lock away your gun. Now he says most of the gun modifications that they are seeing are on guns that have been stolen from vehicles and from homes. Daryl. Getting back to my kids. A terrorist attack at the Shelby County Jail. An inmate is now facing an assault charge. And tonight that nurse talks with Fox 13 Sierra Jordan about the Let's attack this, and the changes she wants to see at the jail. I spoke to a nurse and she didn't want to be on camera to protect her identity. She said she became a nurse to give medical attention and help to those in need, including inmates. Now, she says she's been working here at 201 Papa for a year, but she may be looking for a new job because of an incident that happened on Saturday. 201 Papa failed me. It was time to distribute oh, wow. medication for inmates on the fourth floor at 201 Poplar Saturday. This is the worst floor in the uh, facility, in the jail. It's the worst one. It's like level eight, nine, very violent criminals. The mm. nurse says one of the inmates was 43-year-old Cordarius Fisher. He's in jail for aggravated assault and aggravated burglary charges. She says Fisher was supposed to be in restraints with an officer. He was standing in front of me, uh, reaching in his pants oh, he as was supposed if he was going to uh, perform. It was time. She said she became a nurse to 201 Poplar failed me. It was time to distribute medication for inmates on the fourth floor at 201 Poplar Saturday. Listen, it's the worst floor in the uh, facility, in the jail. It's the worst one. It's like level eight, nine, very violent criminals. The nurse says one of the inmates was 43-year-old Cordarius Fisher. He's in jail for aggravated assault and aggravated burglary charges. She says Fisher was supposed to be in restraints with an officer. He was standing in front of me, uh, reaching in his pants as if he was going to perform sexual acts on himself. The 5-2 nurse says she and a female officer ordered Fisher to back away. That's when, she says, Fisher started punching her in the face. She says the officer tried in to stop face. Fisher. I was just in the hallway screaming like, he hit me, he hit me. No, no other officer came to help us, so I panicked. The sheriff's office told Fox 13 the jail has 2,100 inmates, but is down 400 correctional officers. Unfortunately, the jail is an unpredictable oh, environment. Wow. Sometimes these types of events, events do occur. Uh, we truly uh, believe that it, when these incidents do occur, uh, we try to respond as quickly as we possibly can. On Saturday.
201 Poplar failed me. They it was time her. to distribute medication for inmates on the fourth floor at 201 Poplar Saturday. It's the worst floor in the uh, facility, in the jail. It's the worst one. It's like level eight, nine, very violent criminals. The nurse says one of the inmates was 43-year-old Cordarius Fisher. He's in jail for aggravated assault and aggravated burglary charges. She says Fisher was supposed to be in restraints with an officer. He was standing in front of me, um, reaching in his pants as if he was going to perform sexual acts on himself. The 5-2 nurse says she and a female officer ordered Fisher to back away. That's when, she says, Fisher started punching her in the face. She oh says goodness, the officer tried to much. stop Fisher. I was just in the hallway screaming like, he hit me, he hit me. No, no other officer came to help us, so I panicked. The sheriff's office told Fox 13 the jail has 2,100 inmates, but is down 400 correctional officers. Unfortunately, the jail is an unpredictable environment, and sometimes these types of events, events do occur. Uh, we truly uh, believe that it, when these incidents do occur, uh, we try to respond as quickly as we possibly can and to try to resolve those particular situations. Now, the nurse says she hopes what happens here on Saturday can help influence change to protect the staff here at 201 Poplar. Now, Fisher is facing an assault charge for this attack. In downtown Memphis, C Tonight about a deadly crash in Parkway Village. Memphis police tell us a 24-year-old woman and a 5-year-old boy were killed when two vehicles collided car. there. Happened this morning at American Way in Thousand Oaks. Investigators say a 32-year-old woman was taken to the hospital. A second child was not hurt. Bush, a business owner, an open fire killing him, all while wearing ski masks. Flash mobs ransack a convenience store, boldly walking out with stolen goods. Again, all of them wearing face coverings. Plus, a man walks into a Dollar General and They're tries making to changes. steal from the cash register. Once again, covered by a ski mask. It's not new to see criminals cover their faces, but what is new is they've become a fashion accessory in Memphis. Fox 13 Sierra Jordan started seeing store display signs banning ski masks. Now she's talking to teachers and seeing how they're ending up in schools. Gas stations across Memphis are starting to put up signs like this one on their front doors. If you're wearing a ski mask just like this one, you either have to take it off or not allowed to be inside the store. The ski mask can't let you know the crime about to be committed. Criminals covering their face is nothing new. But the face covering seen over and over in recent images of crime in Memphis are also becoming a more common fashion statement among young people that has many people worried and creating a negative and even fearful stereotype. Because to me, every time I see a ski map, there's a thing about somebody about to steal something. Fox 13 showed you video last week of the owner of a beauty supply store shot and killed outside his business by three gunmen, all wearing black masks. Two oh, weeks ago, no. surveillance videos showed four masked suspects using rifles and handguns in Raleigh. Fox 13 found gas stations with signs on their front doors banning the face coverings from their business. To keep everyone safe, please re remove your ski mask. Um, yeah, because you you never know, who, you never know who's carrying a firearm. Jason Harris is a middle school math teacher. He says the masks are known as shysties. He says the nickname came from Memphis rapper Pooh Shysty who wore ski masks in music videos and social media. Since then, he says he's seen an uptick of students coming to school with them on. So they wear them as, as hats to keep their heads warm. And I, I understand that, but um, no. I know what a ski mask looks up. like. If I see a student wearing one in the building, I'm, I'm quick to say, hey, go ahead and take your head gear off. In Memphis, Sierra, Jordan. So straight drop, uploaded this. Some who is this? Poppy Slime. Stick up.
Hey y'all and happy Friday. Just a quick reminder that tomorrow is our Color My Grief free art therapy workshop where we gonna walk y'all through how to just tomorrow, get to those little, me those little places that's hard to reach um, as it relates to your grief, your loss, your, your stress, your anxiety. You're gonna learn how to heal using art. And so if you pull up at 2 p.m. Eastern virtually, you gotta sign up though. And I'm gonna place the sign up um, link in my bio and also I'm gonna put it in my story. So head to either one of those places and just pull up so you can heal up. And so you can just be a better you for 2024. I mean, we got about six months left. You need to be a better you, so pull up. God, I just thank you for just being so good. I can have a little church. So much is going on. Even when I didn't even deserve it, God, you just kept on loving me. Yeah, hit the, hit the like button. You just kept on making ways for me, Jesus. Yeah. My soul love you today, Jesus. I was just back there saying, I love you, I love you. I, love you, I never want to let you down. Pray for healing. Yeah. 